Hey guys, I hope you're having a good night. So you guys are lucky you get two videos tonight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so first off I want to say is I'm going to go on Down the Rabbit Holes at Bedtime's channel tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Ooh, that's half an hour. So I'm going to do that. Um, also, so I was reading what Mouth posted about how today Alice contacted me directly and identified herself for the first time. Jim Bob had long suspected that Alice was Jim or Bobby Holt. I can confirm that Alice is not either of the Holt. In fact, Alice is no one any of you ever heard of. She's associated with the family that is Josh's fifth victim, the babysitter. Eh, wrong. All right. I love Reddit and this is why. I knew I knew that name, Alice. I'm sure you guys figured it out too, but I figured I'd make a video about it. Isn't Alice dead? For someone who knows so much about the Duggars and their inside people, she must have missed when Bowman confirmed that he knew who Alice was and that she was dead. Look at these comments. I thought that it was stated that she had passed away too. I'm going to guess we are wrong because we know that KJ would never make up an interview without someone or with someone. Gah. Yeah, Alice was confirmed to be a grandmother connected to the Holtz. Bobby's mom, I think. I do remember hearing that too. She died a few years ago. What drugs is KJ on today? All of a sudden, this chick is able to speak to Katie and wants to divulge the truth? KJ keeps going back about pests, crimes, and porn. Can you stop? Jill made it clear in her book and in the interviews. She, she's done so far in Ginger too. They do not want to talk about the abuse from Josh. Josh, just fucking stop, Katie. Leave them alone. I second that, third that, fifth that, hundredth that. Enough already. Also... The detail Katie shared, it's pretty fucking obvious considering the nature of the, his crimes. Janet is only two years younger than Josh. Jesus, she's really scraping the barrel for content here. Yeah, considering she's talking about someone who contacted her that's dead. Like, really, Katie? You're fucking disgusting. Yes, Katie Joy is either conjuring up the dead with her crystal ball or flat out lying. I would say the latter. She's crazy and these people who follow her believe her because they don't they don't follow any other Duggar source, or they have drank the Kool-Aid and are Katie cult members. Definitely a cult. Unfortunately, between the two groups, they will never know the truth or choose to ignore it. I can't stand this woman. She clearly needs an intervention. Edited to add, you did a great job and thank you for posting this. I'm fucking glad I woke up to Katie's bullshit last year. She has no respect for anyone, public or private, not even herself. Bowman's probably going to DM her and tell her to quit lying. She's absolutely insane with this shit. I hope so. That is flat out disrespectful. I totally agree. No one asked for more about this. Nobody. Nobody. Blatantly lying about the identity of someone who passed to get content for a story about SA is so low. The bar is in hell. I can't. She doesn't get it at all. And she never will. I wonder if someone is lying to her or she is flat out lying. This is definitely a new low for her. It kind of throws her, I vet my sources right out of the water. She's definitely lying. Who's Bowman? Back like three years ago, I want to say a man who grew up with the Duggars did a Reddit AMA on Duggar Snark. That's Bowman. And the links are here on Reddit, you guys, if you want to check this out. So there's a sneak peek of the Duggar Snark using the top post of the year. The Twitter has taken notice since the People magazine story of Jess's miscarriage. I grew up closely connected with Anna Duggar and her family for 20 plus years AMA. My wife died. Wow. And this piece of shit KJ is going to sit there and act like... This woman who's passed on, what, reached out from beyond the fucking grave? She is disgusting. This shit needs to be reported. This is super gross. Her lies are just so obvious. Yes, the Holtz have stated they know who Alice is and announced her death. This is why people think she's Bobby's mother. KJ thinks she's Miss Cleo now. Uh-huh. There's only one Miss Cleo. And she's just as dead as Alice. Now she can add psychic medium to her resume. What can she do? Oh, yeah, tell the truth. This is her most hilarious and entertaining lie yet. Why the F would Alice contact Katie to tell her story? No idea why anyone would go would go to her for anything. KJ's full of shit. I believe Alice has died a few years back. Alice was talked about on another forum years ago. Even if Alice was still alive, why would she contact KJ? Once again, KJ and delusional mind. Come on, guys, you all know she's the bestest journalist ever. She even has sources from the grave. She lights her candles, grabs her own hand, and does a seance all by herself. And ta-da! The Duggar Browns, 10 times great-grandparents up here. I think Elvis, too. Remember when people called Katie's alleged essay and she was beyond hor horrified, humiliated, angry, upset, etc., and it was honestly rightfully so? She should remember that feeling of having no control over your own body. 
or the story being told when she thinks of any other essay or DV victim. She's a public figure, effless celebrity, and she was the first I've brought up her essay. She should know exactly how it feels to have it thrown in your face all over the internet every two seconds by people who don't even have all the details. She should also know how it feels to have never got any justice and to have been unbelieved. Essay is no one's story to tell except the victims and Jill told as much as she wanted to in her book. Jill and her siblings and the babysitter all deserve to not be triggered by their essay because they went online. KJ deserves the same. She needs to stop dishing what she can't handle herself, especially when the victim in question's husband's a lawyer who has made it his mission to not let this type of fuck up her mothers. Fuck yeah. Oopsie. If anyone wants to read the Alice letters, here they are. They're on Dugger Snark. So if any of you have um, read it, there's a Dugger Snark. Head over there and you can read them for yourself. This Alice woman is not even alive. She's not alive. And KJ had the balls to say that Alice reached out to her to confirm all this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? There is not one thing this bitch won't do. She needs to be stopped. KJ needs to go bye-bye. It's beyond enough already. People need to stop watching her. People need to stop talking about her, including myself. And I wish I could. Whenever this bitch is gone, I am done. I can't wait. Because honestly, my blood pressure can't take much more. Anyways, I wanted to make this video and let you guys know that she is still sick, disgusting, and twisted. And what she did just now, I hope to hell she loses everything. This is beyond, beyond disgusting. I hope you guys have a great night. And let me know what you think in the comment section. Bye, guys.